<laughs> hey everybody, it's Chris from Tipton and Hearst, and today's happy is we're going to work on some table centerpieces. It's actually a little secret. We're actually in this for a photo shoot that we're going to have for Easter tabletop. We're almost a day late and a dollar short, but hopefully we're going to get there. So I'm actually going to make three different color palettes. We're going to do a lime green with yellow. We're going to do soft pastels of powder blue, powder pink, just a hint of violet or lavender with this beautiful peony tulip. And then last but not least, we're going to do a little bit deeper tones, almost into some fuchsias and pinks for one of our other ones. And we're going to do three different containers. We're going to use a white solid container, an oblong container, and then a clear container. So I'm going to get started. So all we're going to do with this, we're just going to take this leaf and we're going to curve it down. Then we're going to reverse it. Let me show you what it looks like there. And now we're going to go back and we're going to cut that bulkier stem off and we're going to reverse this and go back this way with it. So for just a little bit of cheat to it, I'm going to add just a few pieces of greenery as far as the pit. And that's going to act like a little bit of a grid to catch some of this until I get going pretty good. So we're going to add a few pieces of that. So how is everybody out there in the land of happy? Everyone's good. Miss Shirley from South Georgia, Miss Joanne from Massachusetts, Idaho, Alabama, Oregon, Perfect. Pork, Louisiana, Ohio, North Carolina. Awesome. So we're always going to take the leaves off. And the reason why we take the leaves off, the more the less leaves, the less water goes to the leaves and the more water goes to the head and it keeps your hydrangea hydrated better. Miss Ann Peter said hello Wilson. from West Little Rock, and this weather is fabulous. I hope that she is out sitting on her porch I today. I mean, it is wonderful. So I'm just going to add three of these, just like that. Miss Joanna from Wisconsin said she's just not sure if the state wants to rain or it wants to shine. It's a little confused right now. Well, we are the calm before the storm in Arkansas. I suppose we're going to get really Pretty bad weather tomorrow, right? And tonight? Great. That's what I heard. We hope it'll just not be what they think it's going to be, but we'll see. We have family on from Wesley Chapel, from Maine, oh, awesome. Augusta, Georgia, Miss Lisa from Little Rock. Miss Gail said she needs some happy because she had surgery on her leg and they put metal plates in. Oh, mercy me. Well, I understand. It's going to give a new meaning going through the airport now, isn't it? Woo. Mercy. So, add that there. So, all we're going to do is we're going to dot these hyacinths through here. So, this almost has a monochromatic feel to it. Miss Wendy said good evening from the UK. Miss Angie from New Albany, Mississippi. Miss Susan from uh, Greer's Ferry. Miss Carolyn from Lubbock. Lots of people on today. Oh, perfect. We are trying to also, we never have figured out what happened to that video, did we? No, we did nope, not. we didn't. So those that didn't know, we had, some, we had some videos that disappeared. Some of our happies went away. We don't know what happened. We're still trying to figure that out from Friday. We posted it, and it had several people watch it. I woke up look last night, and it, it was just gone. Mm. So. It's a mystery. Nobody knows. Hopefully that's not a trend. It better not be a trend. <laughs> Hopefully not. Am I changing not. our password? Yeah, it's something. So now we're going to go back and add our, these are called, I call them penny tulips. I think these are so pretty. Oh, they are gorgeous. And these are so tight. They're going to get huge. And they have multiple layers of petals on them. So they look almost like a penny when they bloom. Do you remember the names of the people that got the three gift cards? Seriously, I barely remember my name, much less that. So. <laughs> okay, well, from our happy birthday, happy, we had, of course, like we said, for every hundred share. So uh -huh. we had three ladies that got um, gift cards. Exactly. One was Miss Faye. Oh, gosh, I drew blank of the other two myself. Miss Faye Lyons. And the other person hasn't messaged me back yet, so I'm not sure oh, who the third perfect. was. But they will get $50 gift cards. And they can and apply it to Comment whatever, sold comments, or whatever. whatever they want. Exactly. Do you feel like we're echoing today a little bit? Could be because that's open. Oh, I bet that is. Yeah. 
but that's okay. Could be. Who knows? Miss Mary Ann said that she loved my dress on Wedding Wednesday, and she said that the flowers from my sister's wedding that you did were fabulous. Y'all, if you could have seen them in person, it was, I mean, oh my gosh. Yeah. I think all of Mr. Chris's work is beautiful, but Whitney's <laughs> wedding was amazing. You were very kind. We still look back and say we Happy wouldn't do that. anything different. Well, you know, that's one thing that I always hope that happens for all my brides. You know, I always say, you know, there's a lot of trends out there, and hopefully our flowers are timeless because you know you're not going to like your hair when you look at it in 20 years, and you know you're not going to like the dress that you looked at in 20 years probably, especially a bridesmaid's dress. So hopefully the flowers are timeless. And you go, but you know what? Those are still the prettiest flowers I've ever seen. I actually was looking back at Andrew's, which that's been 10 years now, or 11 years, and it's still kind of pretty. Kind of pretty. It is real pretty. Yeah. Oops, somebody said the last tulip missed the vase. It didn't miss the vase. It just missed the leaf. So. Oh, it missed the leaf. Well, hang on. There we go. We'll put it back in its place. Back in the fence. So what is the name of the flower that resembles a peony in this? That is a tulip. Is there a specific name for the tulip? Well, I'm sure there is, but do you think I know it? Mm. Well, no, because you just said you might not know your name sometimes. So. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Everyone's it's telling called, you you missed a tulip in the vase. Uh, well, you didn't really. It was, okay. just, it was just on this side of the, of the leaf. Yeah. Yep. So there's that one. You know, I want to do, before we photograph this, let's add one more bunch to make that a lot punchier. Let's do it. Okay. This is one of those days where you go to lunch and you get there and it takes them 45 minutes to get your order together, even though you're sitting in a car on curbside. And of course, Gina, she was like, uh, we don't have two hours for lunch here. So <laughs> it was, it was busy outside. We ate on the patio at Buffalo Grill and I, I just think everyone's out today because the weather is just amazing. Well, they said it's cause people on spring break and I'm like, well, if they're on spring break, they're not in town. They've all left. So that. That but dog, I don't think everyone left. I that don't. dog don't hunt. But anyway, well, then there's only ten people in the whole restaurant that are like, oh, y'all better come up with a better one than that. <laughs> a better. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, there you go. So someone asked, where do you see Wedding Wednesday? If you go to our Instagram, yep. it's all on there. Um, Miss Lou said she caught us live again. She said it's so wonderful to wake up to. She said it's almost seven a.m. Oh, in wonderful. Tasmania. Well, so you're into Thursday now. Right? I think so. Happy Thursday. Everyone's saying that the pictures that you posted, or the video you posted was just a dream. It was beautiful. Of course, my mom said they can never thank you enough. It's just uh, fabulous. Happy to do it. We had a great time. So, Miss Bambi asked, do you ever use Gerber daisies? And we we did use on Monday, them actually. all the time. We did yellow on Monday. Just Monday. not to date. Just yeah. not to date. Just Everyone's not saying beautiful. To date. Miss Jeannie is watching from South Carolina. Oh, awesome. Miss Amy said when growing up, they would always come to Little Rock for activities on spring break. So. Really? But where you went to lunch was very small. There, it was not, I know where you went. It was not overtaking. Exactly. Maybe their employees are all on vacation. That's what I, well, that's what she should have said. She should have said, and we're dealing with the same problem here. We've got a lot of our employees on spring break or some of them on spring break with their kids. So then you should have said, we're just understaffed today. And I would have been, hey, I totally understand. We get it. I get it. But that's not what you heard. But that ain't what she said. <laughs> Three times. Okay, so y'all, I wanted to give an update on the t-shirt. So I messaged Miss Shannon, and she said she, she had finished. She spring break. <laughs> <laughs> she said that she was finishing her favorite one yesterday, and I was going to get it. Okay. And I hadn't gotten it yet. But I promise, promise, promise. She's on spring break. Yeah. If we don't have something from her on Friday, y'all, we're, we're moving on. We'll find another person. We're so. moving on. Exactly. We might start being the t-shirt uh, makers. Uh -huh. Would you like to add something to your to repertoire? Your, yeah, yeah, no. Mm -mm. I don't think we have time for that. Remember you said it. you don't know your name some days. Yeah, that, exactly. So what's a good flower for arrangements that can be pro propagated mm. I know a lot of people do roses actually but uh, you have to google search it to figure out how to do it I think it's not that complicated to 
Uh, the rest of them, I think they had to be like a woody stem. I, I'm by no means a botanist, so that probably just needs to be a good old Google search on that one. Miss so. Kay said that you were on a roll today, that she just loves your laugh. <laughs> Y'all, we're kind of a hot mess today. Yeah, we are. We're extremely going 100 miles an hour. We're going to so, blame it on the pizza place. It does kind of, you know, it really does kind of set the tone when you get does it. it? Sound like you're like, Y'all have got to be kidding me. Anyway, so we're doing yellow ranunculus. Love, love. Some more of those peony tulips, green hydrangeas. Now we're going to go back and add these really fun yellow mini calla lilies. Well, I've never seen that before. They put a stick in there. We've huh. never seen that before to fake us out and make us think that they're not going to flop over. Anyway. Did it fake you out? <laughs> hey, it worked until I undid them, and I'm like, what? So now we're going to do our mini callas. Oh, somebody just called. Unplugged. Now. I think so. Good deal. Super duper. <laughs> Miss Joanna said, hey, there's a stick, lol. Yeah, exactly. Well, I've never seen that before. So Miss Leanne asked on Friday, could they see the peony tulip opened up? Hopefully, well, well if we remember. If still here, we, a, a, if we remember, B, if it hadn't already sold. Things do tend to sell pretty quick in this world. Miss Terry asked if maybe hydrangeas could be propagated. I bet they can because they're a woodier, they're woodier stem, especially if you get it from the, the main plant. I bet you could. But like I said, don't quote me on any of that because. Oh gosh, everyone lost your volume when that person called. Are we back? Hello, hello. Are we back to normal? Well, let's just keep going. We'll talk, talk loud. You might talk, be in a hole, but... Talk really loud. Yeah, wouldn't be the first time, would it? And last but not least, I'm going to add some of this beautiful green Helbaloris. Oh, I just think that's so pretty. Yeah, it is pretty. And it's a good filler in space. It kind of pulls that hydrangea color up. Uh oh, just popped the head. So just like that, traditional but Ugh, pretty. So pretty. You know, yellow and oranges are not my favorite color by any means, but that is so pretty. Well, I'm, I'm kind of in the yellow. You're you know, trying to stay the, with the Pantone color. We very know. much have to be on trend. Light um, at the end of the tunnel, they say. What yellow is? Mm -hmm. That's why they did it this year, supposedly. Okay. So let's make one more design. Oh, everybody got you back. Ooh, Everybody's back. Yay! So in this one, I'm not going to add a leaf because the base itself already has texture to it. So it kind of makes the stems inside not look, it kind of distorts the stems themselves. So you don't, it doesn't look quite as messy as exposed stems. A lot of people love exposed stems. Miss Terry said, when all else fails, Google it. You can do yeah. roses, hydrangeas, lilac, honeysuckle, and azaleas. Well, there you go. Miss Brenda said, yellow is the fashion. So on this one, we're going to work with, oh, we have some Gerber daisies. <gasps> oh, good. So we're going to use. I'm going to use some parvofolia, eucalyptus. We've got a little, little, little bit of jasmine vine, which is coming back in pretty strong. So pretty. A little bit of that hint of pink. Wait, what's the name of that again? Jasmine, jasmine vine. vine. Is that what we're using for one of the weddings this weekend? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got plenty. I made sure before I pulled it. And then we got stock in a fuchsia color. We have some anemones. And almost a purple deep fuchsia color. They're gonna open, they're super fresh. Some Gerbera daisies, or Gerbera, or Gerber. Some more mini callas. This one has a white edge. Does it have a stick in it? Nope, I don't know why they did that one. White with purple throat. We have some variegated pink tulips. These are not peony tulips or multi petal tulips. And then, oops, 
we're going to use a few Snapdragon. Ooh, so today on the time. Snapdragon, I'm not going to use them up. I'm going to use them more out. So let's see how that goes. Everybody's telling me that it's a scammer. I got it, y'all. Give me a break. Um, so somebody wanted to see the first arrangement again. That's the first one. There's the first one. So, Miss, who was it? I got to scroll back. Miss Carol said, does Chris ever do anything that isn't absolutely gorgeous? I don't think so. Everything he does is pretty fabulous. Some things aren't my favorite, but, you know, like when he uses sticks. But oh, come on. Yes, Chris It's all does. very beautiful. Put it this way. Chris does tear things up quite often. Nah. 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 Womp, womp. <laughs> Everyone's coming out for the spammer. I got him, y'all. He is gone. Would airplane mode during the happy start stop the interruptions? Miss Sharon, that's a great question. And I was thinking about that, but I don't think, I can... don't think so because then, then my cellular out. data yeah, would not out. be no. on. And I use my cellular data to do. Yeah, we're um, not on Wi-Fi because it won't pick up. The Wi-Fi is not strong enough to make it work. Mm -mm. Can you still get Bells of Ireland? Got them now. Yeah, we used them last weekend. We're going to use them again this weekend. We've got Bells of Ireland are pretty much a standard flower for us all year long. When you say we normally all, we have Bells of Ireland almost every week, every That's right. Pretty much. So now again. Okay, are y'all still there? Somebody else called me. Somebody's calling. Can you still hear us? If not, we'll have to plug and unplug. At least we finally got that kind of figured out. I know. Right? So do you ever have, or do you always have a plan when you're making this of what it's going to look like? <laughs> no. He doesn't have a clue in Sandman. Really? Now, if, <laughs> if I'm trying to do a certain type of design I'll have a semi plan but generally we just I don't do a lot of what I call contemporary design because a lot of our viewers don't really care for that so I try to always do what I think the happy family likes and so he has aka y'all he does not have a plan when he's doing this no like, like this he's no. just so creative that it just no. like I always it say you gotta let out. the flowers talk so let them speak they're gonna tell you how they want so it. So kind of like how artists, you know, they just start painting. And I'd be close to those ones that just take the paint, throw it on the wall, let it grow. Yeah. <laughs> here we are. This is what happens right here. Exactly. So I do have color palettes that I try to work with it or color schemes, but in general, we're just making pretty flowers right now. We just now we make could some do happy. now we could do if they want to see other design type oh, of design styles, we could do that. It's just the few times that we've done it, they kind of go, oh, sticks, right, right, you know. So, anyway, so I try to keep everybody happy. Miss Carol said, holy moly, she tried to call our shop yesterday, and she ended up calling Belize, but then she got a hold of Haley. Oh, my goodness. Well, how's Belize doing? <laughs> <laughs> Miss Mary Ann said, our happies are spontaneous, and that's yeah. exactly right. Yep. Yeah. They tried to put us on a schedule, and yeah. it didn't work out well, so well. Because, well, for one thing, we just never know what's going to be coming in the door. We don't, we don't know door. what flowers are in. Yeah. I mean, right now, we are so helter, not helter skelter, but there's so many unknowns with cut flowers right now. All of our staying orders have kind of fallen off. They don't, they're not producing the stuff. So, what we get is what we get. Well, you like know, Burgundy we this weekend, it's not, it didn't all come. Yeah, and we tried. I mean, we pre-ordered it, and we have staying orders of pre-orders, and... If it just, you know, they're dealing with a lot right now with COVID in the farms. So we feel them. So we got to just make the best of the bad situation. <laughs> Miss Emily said the same thing happened to her a few weeks ago. She tried to call us and she called Belize. I don't know what that's about. We'll have to get the details. Well, what number are they calling? Well, I don't know. They need to call 1-800-666-3333. That's our Watts, our 800 number. And our local number is 501-66-3333. 666? 666-3333. Yeah. So we have a few people saying they love everything that... Another stick. Now I can 
drumsticks. Oh gosh, we're gonna join a band now, y'all. No, we're not. So we have a few mm. people saying that they would love to see some more contemporary looks, but they love everything that you do. Okay, well, we can do that. We can definitely do that. It's just American style right now tends to go more garden esque. Uh, very starting, you're starting to see things air out more. You know, as far as it used for a while there, it was everything was really compact. So you're starting to see a lot more, as I say, air in the hair. So it makes it easier because that's really what I started out doing 40 years ago. So we have a few people asking, maybe could you do a funeral spray? Sure. And then some more contemporary. And the, then the problem we're going to have with the bigger pieces is that you're going to have trouble seeing it. That makes sense. Sure. Because of the way we film. Um, but we could try. Yep, we have a few people saying contemporary designs. Okay, we can and do that. And then um, Miss Wanda asked if you had your COVID vaccine. I have had my first shot. Miss Emily said I she just, dialed the number from our website. She just pressed the wrong phone number to call. Oh my goodness. The wrong number and called somebody else. Oh my goodness. Well, that probably was one of those numbers are calling to tell you that your car warranty's up. <laughs> True. <Please. laughs> so a lot of people are saying one is their favorite for Easter. So this was number one. Okay. Perfect. And then that was number two. And we're still and then working here's on number, number three. three. We are still working on number three. Miss Vicky said that you have encouraged her to start making some wreaths again. She loves old southern airy designs. Oh, good. Yeah, Miss Joanna said Christine will need a taller ladder if we're doing funeral sprays. Yep, exactly. Miss Suzanne said the white cow lilies just make this whole thing pop. Good deal. And Miss Martha said she's going to watch you no matter what you make. <laughs> well, good. We appreciate that. The more the merrier, right? But if they keep going off our page, huh? Ugh, we've what? got to remember that because. What? Um, What's wrong? That that Friday happy's gone because when I go to count how many happies we've done, I'm gonna forget to count that one because it's not there. Oh, I just cannot imagine what happened on that. A lot of people love number one. Oh, perfect. We're gonna add when we get done. We're gonna actually add more tulips to it. I almost want it to be like that collared effect that we've always kind of done. It's kind of our, one of our signature looks, where it's almost like a, a whole row of tulips in the middle then you have this beautiful collar blues and lavenders around the edge well this purple one is pretty popular right now number three this one well this is more airy yeah you're seeing a lot of this right now so you Especially know I like when that they, one i love yellow green and yellow but these are going to be really pretty when these anemones pop open okie dokie okie dokie okie dokie all right well i think we're good for today so I hope y'all had fun watching the happy. We'll be back on Friday. We'll have something else. I'm sure it's going to still pertain to Easter because, you know, it's a countdown now. Or weddings. We could. I think I'm in better shape this week than I was last week. Knock on wood. Yeah, you better get to knocking. Oh, whatever. Ain't nothing like last week. Well, I know, but I mean, never know. I never know. That's right. So that's what we're here for is to take care of everybody else. That's so right. anyway. We will see you on Friday. Y'all have a blessed one. Have a safe one. Hopefully the storms and in our area in Mississippi and Alabama and Tennessee and Louisiana just kind of go away. Uh, that ain't going to happen, but hopefully it won't be bad. Anyway, we will see you on Friday. Bye.